Hi there, I hope this video will help a lot of people having issues with long load times, long save times, and the projects in Studio One uh, grinding to a halt when you have worked on them for a long time. I found this issue because a uh, co-worker of mine who uses Studio One actually ended up in this mess every single project he did and that was because of one difference in workflow that he like this one thing he did that i didn't do just messed everything up let's go check it out now if we go to instruments here and let's load up just something that follows it let's take a mai tai just for fun and i'll just play it on my keyboard right here So let's now record this. Let's say that was dope. And I'll do it in minor instead. <laughs> right? Now we have one uh, part here, you can say, uh, with MIDI. And that will show here as this event. So let's uh, cut this event up. Let's do this just quantize do, 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 do. let's say this is what we wanted to do right quantize this stuff like this blah 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 and we shorten this and then we just move it in place where we wanted it and then we need to turn off relative grid thank you so now and we drag it like this to fit the whole bar and we just duplicate these two to just have this repeat like it would be and let's say we like that let's say that we like that bullshit and we just copy these this much And we're like, oh shit, we want to layer that with something. So we click here and duplicate track complete. And let's say we don't want this. We just remove it like that. We click record again and we add. We just add that on top like. And that's our new loop, right? And we just quantize that. And we might even quantize that to a different level. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah. Move this one and we just keep making the beat and playing it this way and then ah oh, we need to make it longer like people normally do and then you figure out like okay let's say you you added this uh... <laughs> just bear with me right now we recorded two things, and then we go ahead and like, oh, we need to duplicate this one again. And duplicate complete, and then we change like, let's say we go to cut off like this, and we go like this, and we change a bunch of stuff, right? And then we're like, oh no, we need to change this sound too. So let's add just a. Let's say that's what we wanted to do. Oh, this is getting crazy.
And we're like, oh, no, that's wrong. We need to move this one. Or let's record it again, and you do it again. Like... Now, never mind the music. It's meant to be stupid, right? It's meant to be sounding dumb. Because it don't matter. Because let's say you do this, and you're just testing where I... And then you duplicate this one all the way around, and then you figure, like, oh, I need another instrument. Duplicate track complete, again, and then you're like, I want to keep this one, but I want to keep it at another octave, so we transpose it up. And then this one, uh, yeah, let's do all up, one octave. So we just transposed all these now. I had the view on the wrong screen, but all these now get transposed, right? And then you're like, oh, yeah, I need to duplicate it again. Because I want, I, I want a pad, right? So you remove this again, and you choose, like, a pad, and you go with, ah, oh, chill away pad, let's go. And you click record. Okay. And you go like... Now the music is retarded, of course, but the fun thing about this, which ain't retarded, and let's say you want to add one more thing now. Let's say you want to add one more thing. So you duplicate complete once more. You want to add a lead singing melody thing. Or just, just this one. Whack, 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 but check this out now. Now we're done, and then we just go like, ooh, we want to make this the whole song. Yeah, boom. Okay. Why did it crash, right? What happened? Crashed. So for real, it crashed. And you're left wondering, like, why? It's just my tie. It's just a few instances of my tie. But did you catch the problem? Did you catch what happened? Did you catch why it just suddenly went AWOL and crashed? Now you need to restart this one. And I, of course, I got a hotkey for restarting. And then you're like, what? Why? Why? Why that happen? Start. Now. Encoding overload. I don't care. You try to load this. Ah, I can be found. I lost all my progress. So that's a crash using only plugins that are native to Studio One. So what happened? Is it OBS's fault? Nope, 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 nope. It's not. Now we're going to remove all of these on my basic project. Oh, is it your master chain? I didn't copy the map. Why would it? Like, it's native plugins, this too. Like, did did actually Sonarworks crash the program? Like, no, 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 no. Forget about it. Forget about it. So let's do the same again. But this time with even worse music. Let's just play anything anyway. Let's just go, bum, 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 adding, and then duplicating. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Then Alt D. Come on, Control Alt D. What? Oh, only Alt D. My hotkeys. I'm forgetting my hotkeys because I don't usually use this function in particular. I got a macro to avoid this from happening. And let's record again and just and let's duplicate this one and then let's do the same again and then record over this one and. 
and then duplicate that, and so on and so forth. Let's do it four times. Four times. Four times is charm. Let's go. I don't care what this is. I'll do this, and we copy it. Oh, it didn't crash. Woo, we're lucky, because check this out. Let's try to save this project now. Let's actually try to save this. It was quite quick. I'm actually flabbergasted. Let's duplicate all these. Let's now test. Did you see something weird there? Or is it just me? Let's duplicate these. Or let's add one more line here. Because this is a stupid example without automation. You see, things are starting to go slow. What's going on? What's going on? Let's now duplicate these once more. Because let's say you, this is your workflow. You duplicate the instrument, you change a few settings, and you got your new, let's say you use Serum, and you duplicate, and you just add some new, and you also add automation, you add all that stuff to every event, event and then you copy it out to the whole song now i didn't do that because i don't want it to crash but check this out duplicating complete all those let's now control s and the program is broken or it's not totally it's just gonna take forever to save if it uh, all saves there check that four six nine twenty three two, 28, 30, what? 33,000 times it was saved. 33,000 times. So what is this issue? What is going on? Get this. Now this video is getting long-winded. It's just 16 times my tie and it saves like 36,000 times. Imagine if it was something heavier. It would crash your whole computer. Like... What? 36,000 times? And it's just 20, no, 56 seconds a song. What's going on here? This is your issue. What I'm doing here is I'm just clicking the open uh, layers, expand layers button for all. I use a hotkey for it so I can open all at the same time. You see here, it starts with one layer on the first one, then two, three, because every time you duplicate complete, it copies all the layers you had before. So suddenly you got like five. And the issue with Studio One is that it just can't handle having layers like that. You see how many it is? And you saw how, if you save again, just check this out. Packaging editor, and then it packages forever and tens of thousands of times. And the failure report is all locked. There. Look at that. It's not even a single sample in the song. It's just 16 instances of my tie, which follows Studio One. Now, check this out. If I click all of these, right? All these... Uh, layers and I delete them there and let's say I do that for all layers like and then I click my hotkey for delete layer and I just keep deleting all layers boom check the save times did you see that check this out control s boom it's so quick you can't even see and now there's no issue with copying anything the whole crashing thing stops. And if I then duplicate these complete again, it's almost instantly. And now if I save, it happens instantly. You see what I'm saying? There's a bug in Studio One that causes layers, uh, especially then layers with the... Uh, uh, MIDI layers to just crash the whole program. And if you'd use the duplicate complete without removing layers, you're gonna crash the project or at least slow it down. Uh, 
if you go to recording settings over here, record panel, and turn off this one while recording MIDI, that's a good way to do it. Or if you just use the Mai Tai, let's say, and you record a part, and you just copy it, out, copy it out, and then you duplicate the track completely, but you remember to remove the layer by using either a hotkey or just clicking here on X. The best way, another way is also to drag in a new instance of the plugin, because as long as you don't have any layers on it, it's good. Because let's try to add maximum amount of layers in minimum time. Ah, uh, did I turn off text layers? No. Now we got lots of layers. Boom. Then we copy the layers out like this. Boom. And we get lots. See, every time I du duplicate something, it copies the layers. And then I duplicate this completely. And we try to save. And it's... Mm, it's quite quick. You see that? It's quite quick. Duplicate layers. Duplicate layer. Get even more layers here. Duplicate this one complete three times. Four times, maybe. And we're already starting to see hell. And we duplicate these. And it starts to be like... Bleh. And let's then do just remove all MIDI layers by clicking my hockey lots and lots of times. Very many times, actually. Jeez, that was many times. I should have opened them. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm done. Thank you. And let's now try to duplicate these, and it goes quickly, and if I try to save... You can't even see the numbers that popping up. Cause, yeah, because now I'm clicking save, but nothing happens, because it's so quick, it's like, boom, done, boom. So here you got it. So if you want your Studio One not to crash, and if you want it to be responsive when saving, please remember to delete every unused MIDI layer. Please. Because if not, you're going to end up in a world of hurt. Just That's just the way it is. And why can't I delete this channel? That's weird. That's like really weird. What the? <laughs> okay. This video is over. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.